So hello everyone, my name is Mark and welcome to a new team review video on my channel. In this way I'm going to show you the best way to play with FC Barcelona at this moment in my opinion. My name is Mark and welcome to my channel. I'm doing lots of videos like this, tactic videos, I'm also doing tutorial videos, FIFA Academy videos and yeah, I'm doing career, all FIFA related stuff. So if you're interested in that, take a look at my channel and maybe you can subscribe to it if you are really interested in that. Uh, I would really appreciate it if you would leave a like under this video. It's a small favor I'm asking, I'm thinking, and you do me a big favor with that. And, well, let's start with the formation. The formation is a 3-5-2 formation, so we are playing only with three centre-backs. And I know lots of people don't like to play it that way, but I did this formation in FIFA 19, in FIFA 20. So I thought, well, let's try it out in FIFA 21 as well. And as you saw in the, yeah, in the beginning of this uh, video, I scored some goals. So I was in Division 2. So it's, yeah, it's a pretty good thing to play. I know it's a bit weak sometimes, but yeah, it's also fun to play. And in this stage of the game, I really like to have some fun in the game. So if you are not want to play with three defenders only, you can check out one of my other Barcelona videos on my channel and try the 4 2 3 one small or whatever. But for my feeling, at this moment, this is the best and the most fun way to play with Barcelona. So we're going to the formation. It's Ter Stegen is the goalkeeper. Langlet, Umtiti and Alba are the center backs. Uh, I'm using a lot of fullbacks uh, as a center back, especially when I'm playing with three defenders because they are faster. And yeah, they are not that tall, but most of the times that's not really a big issue for me because I don't get lots of goals against me with headers and my defender is too small so that's not a really uh, an issue for me so uh, Langlet is also pretty fast with 73 pace Alba is fast with 87 pace and Titi is a bit slow and he is maybe the weakest point in this uh, formation because he is a bit slow and also on the defense he doesn't feel that comfortable all the time for me but there is not a really good uh, option Else. You have PK, of course, but he is even slower than MTTS. His defensive skills are a bit better, but only three defenders. I yeah, will have the pace over the defensive skills. So I prefer the pace of MTT. That's also not that high, but it's a bit higher than PK. Uh, all right, we go to the central defensive midfielders. We are having Pjanic and De Jong. Uh, Dest is the right midfielder, uh, Fati is the left midfielder, and I'm having these two guys also because of their pace. They are the fastest uh, options we have here. 88 pace for Fati, 87 pace for Dest. Uh, he is a right defender, I know, but yeah, he is doing the job pretty good because of his pace and his passing and dribbling are okay. Uh, you can also use Sergi Roberto with, with 77 pace. He's a bit slower, of course. Uh, on all other stats, he is better overall than Dest is, of course, but only the pace for me is, is, yeah, is the most important thing, especially on this possession, because they need to run forward. They also need to run back. And yeah, that's why they need these pace. So Dest and Fati, right and left midfielder. Griezmann is the central attacking midfielder. Messi is playing as a striker and next to him Dembele and I'm using Dembele because of his pace also. Uh, he is the fastest player in the squad I think and yeah I really like to have one really fast striker and he is making the runs behind the defense of your uh, opponent and yeah he is creating so much space most of the times with these runs for Messi and Griezmann. So that's a really important thing, the runs of Dembele in this formation. I'm going to show you in the instructions uh, how he is doing that. All right, let's go to the tactics. I choose drop back with a width of four bars and a depth of four bars. Offensive style, we're changing this to fast build up. And it's doing an amazing job, the runs from Fati and Dest on the sides, the runs from Dembele. Griezmann is making good runs forward. Also, uh, De Jong is making some good, uh, good runs forward. And you can pass the ball around really quick, set up your attacks really quick, and yeah, try to score your goals that way. Um, also, what I forgot to say on the defensive style, choose drop back because you are only playing with three defenders. And when you lose the ball, you want everybody to go back. And yeah, especially for Dest, because he has the low defensive work rate. So that's not a pretty ideal thing to have. But with the drop back, he is coming back. So 
uh, it's not that big of an issue. But if you are choosing something else, it could be that he is not coming back immediately when you lose the ball. So drop back is really important uh, to have all the players going back when you lose the ball and help your three defenders out. All right, now we're going to the instructions. All the center backs, all three are just default. Pjanic, needs good passing lane, stay back while attacking and cover wing. De Jong, good passing lane, stay back while attacking and cover wing. But because of the fast build-up, sometimes they will go forward anyway. So stay back while attacking is to help your defenders out a bit. And the cover wing is because when Dest or Fati are forward and you lose the ball, they will go to the side of the field and try to stop your opponent. Uh, to attack on the side of the field when there is too much space because you don't have a defender over there. All right, then we have Dest. Uh, come back on the fence, really important. Stay wide and get him behind. You want to have him on stay wide because if he is coming inside of the field also, it's way too much players in the center of the field and there is no, uh, yeah, no space for you to pass the ball around. So stay wide is really important. Uh, come back so he is coming back when you lose the ball, get him behind so he's making the runs when you have the ball. So they are making lots and lots of meters in a match. Same for Fati, come back on the fence, stay wide, get in behind. Then we have Griezmann, the only thing I changed for him is get into the box for the cross. Then we have Messi, only thing I changed for him is stay central. And then Bele, as I already said, he's gonna make the runs for you to create the space to pass the ball around. Uh, stay central and get in behind. So that's it. This is for me at this moment, uh, yeah, the most fun way to play with Barcelona. And for my feeling, already, uh, also the best way to play with Barcelona. But if, again, if you're not feeling comfortable with these three defenders, check out one of my other videos about Barcelona and try that tactics out. Well, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like it and I hope you will try it out yourself. And of course, I hope you will win with this because that's why I'm making these videos. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Bye bye.